Don't you think that you would have let the landlord know? What do you think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Never did. What do I think? I, I don't know. I <laughs> it does sound like that. that it does sound like that. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, uh, but please, uh, uh, I'll take you on down the trail here. Uh, tenants paid on time, got city orders for the couch they had in the backyard. Uh, then they didn't pay us the, uh, the month of the fire. Uh, we're not home when the fire happened. Top were taken from the basis, never called me about the fire. You got to report the loss to your insurance company, ASAP. You want to secure and protect your home um, and uh, board and call, call a company that does boarding. Uh, take pictures and videos. If nothing else we can talk about, but take pictures and videos so that uh, so you got a, a stake in the ground of what's going on with the place. Uh, if you do have somebody living in there, you might have to help them find housing and consult with a public adjuster to see if they can help you. So here's where I want to take you the next because you asked about insurance on this stuff. On this public adjuster, you want to check their references. Uh, are they NATIA members, which is National Association of Public Insurance Adjusters? Uh, are they Better Business Bureau members? Uh, do they offer no-cost consultations? Do not let your insurance company dictate the settlement. Everybody hear that last part? Yes. All right. What I'm going to talk to you about right now and teach you is how to save some money on this thing. What happens is there's different ways. Well, let me take you this, this slide first. This is the website. You want to write, is this in your book? No. Write that down in your book, please. UnitedStatesAdjusters.com. This will give you the adjusters in your area. And a ton of information. There's a lot of information out there on that site. Is that specifically for fire adjusters? Well, that has lightning on there. I would say it'd be any, anything like that. So, yeah, I, I, some, any damages. In here, it just says about us. You can go ahead and read up what they, what they cover right there. That's the recovery of me. Yeah, fire, smoke damage adjusters that work for you, not the insurance company. Disaster recovery consultants. Um, here's what's going on. You own a property and you got an insurance company. You got your property insured. In the middle, in the middle, you rather than you just working with your insurance company, you can have these people work with your insurance company to make sure you get you get a fair break because the insurance company is trying to save any dime that they can save, right? Okay. So when you insure your houses, are you insuring your houses for replacement value or insured value? If that's not in your book, you ought to write it down. Replacement value or insured value? It's a dramatic difference in two different ways. One thing is insured value is cheaper than replacement value. So if you're a cheap person like I am, you're doing insured value. And that means if you have a house fire and the house it burns to the ground like mine did, then you're going to get paid what's in the insurance policy uh, covered. If you got replacement value, this is where these adjusters come in and you can get more than what you think you're going to get from the insurance company. You will get a higher, you will get a bigger check. How many folks are into getting a bigger check? You get a bigger check. So, for an example, what Kevin did was he had to hire this company right here to smash the house and haul it away. We couldn't fix the house. You know, first thing I looked at, can I fix the house? Well, it's too far gone. So Kevin hired this company here. Now, how do you pay for that company? Well, the insurance company cut, cut us a check to cover this. So Kevin went out and got quotes. And they come in and they smashed, smashed the house. They got rid of the debris. And, uh, and, then, they, uh, 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 and then they got a check from the insurance company not us, which was on top of the price that we got for the house. So we had the price of the house and the insured value, but then they also had, had uh, money there to pay for this. So uh, they, uh, 
they push this, they had a basement, they push this into the basement and they cover this up and when you drove by the place, it's all grass. So they brought in dirt, whatever else they had to do to fill that hole in and put, put grass up. So this became a grass lot. That's my garage right there. And that's the other thing. Do you have insurance on detached garages or detached buildings? What would happen if, if this house, when it burnt, if a spark took off in the air and hit that garage and the garage went up? Well, if you don't have it covered, you get zipped, and then you have to take care of, the, of getting rid of the, the garage. If you got coverage on, on the detached garage, then you would get you would get paid if it if it burns. But I did I didn't have I didn't have I did not have, it didn't burn, but I didn't have coverage on. It. So um, uh, so a number of lessons here. You know, insured value, replacement value. If you do not know what you're doing on your home, you ought to go home and look at your policies and figure out what you got. Because it makes a difference if you have a fire. Obviously, you never ever want to have a fire, but they happen. So, I'm not saying one is better than another. I do insured value because when I pay an insurance policy, it's the cheapest. If you pay replacement value, it's going to, it's going to be more money. But it might not. It might be worth it. It might not be so much that it's. Uh, and then if you do have a fire, then you're going to be give a, you're going to get a better settlement if something happens like that happens there than I did. Uh, with the garage, uh, the neighbor wanted it. Uh, Kevin couldn't come to an agreement with him, and then we found uh, that our contractor wanted it, and so our contractor came along and gave us a couple thousand bucks, and we gave him the garage. So I sold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right there. I sold him the whole thing. Sold the whole thing. All right. All right, hang on. Um, see if I can think something else here. Uh, Kevin, can you think anything else?